Guitar Collector Guy presents a beautiful cobbled together mess, aka a Pertzpen caster. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify. I picked up a used Stratocaster body for $60 that had some dings and imperfections, but I liked the color of it. I also had a couple necks, and when I went through all my parts, I realized I had enough used parts to assemble what I would call a parts bend caster. I wanted to see what this body would look like as a guitar. The finish from Fender is called Cherry Sunburst, and I think it's kind of pretty. Prior owner of the body had drilled a little too deep for the pivot screw inserts. I was worried that they didn't drill the holes in the correct place with correct spacing. I took a quarter inch by 28 by a three inch flathead machine screw, screwed into each of the inserts, and then I tapped them into place using a mallet until they were flush. I was happy because the holes were drilled correctly, although a little deep, the inserts are firmly held in place. I had a used two point bridge that I dug out and installed. I have a preference for the six screw bridges, so I never probably would have used this in a build otherwise. I don't show it on the video, but I tried a couple different necks before ending up installing the Made in Mexico maple neck with Fender Modern tuners that I'm showing in the final build. I had some older Fender lace sensor pickups, basically the red, blue, and silver, I believe. I wanted to try them out in this build. I built a standard modern wiring harness out of a mix of new and used parts I had harvested from other guitars. After plugging in the lace sensors into an amp, I came to the conclusion that no matter what I did, I really didn't like the sound that was coming out of them. Fortunately, I saw a set of Seymour Duncan California 50s, which after researching, I found out that they were not very inexpensive. Um, set of pickups, basically they are expensive. They're between two and three hundred dollars for a brand new set. I got them in a 89 made in Japan ST57 Stratocaster that I recently purchased that also came with the original pickups and I was kind of taking a trip down memory lane because I had owned this exact guitar before and I remembered that the pickups ended actually pretty good so I reinstalled the original pickups and then stashed the Seymour Duncans and my parts bin for a project like this. The Seymour Duncan pickups installed in this guitar made it come alive. The lace sensor pickups were weaker and I kept on having to crank the volume on my amp to get any volume, which I don't normally have to do with most of my pickups that I install in guitars. I did research and found that the lace sensor recommends 250k ohm pots and a 22 microfarad cap, and this is what I built into my wiring harness. I don't know what was going on, but I'm happy with the outcome of the Seymour Duncan pickups that are installed. Thank you for watching Guitar Collector Guy. Really appreciate you being here. Hope you come back and watch more. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.